up nerds it's Jess welcome back to twinzine I am alone again um, mostly because Eric is still at work and uh, I wanted to catch up with you guys because we've had a lot of life changes happening and that is going to affect the future of our channel so the reason why we kind of took a hiatus um, because when Erica came back from the Dominican we wanted to get together rebrand our channel not rebrand but like you know shoot the collection videos and we wanted to do a how to collect video and we had all of these plans and then life got in the way so what's going on with her is that you know she found a boyfriend and they might be getting engaged soon and they're gonna get married because that's what happens you know and, um, so she'll be moving away. <laughs> and what's been happening with me is, um, well, I found out that I had depression. So I just, I wanted to record and I wanted to do all these things, you know, because having conversations and sharing what we buy, um, is fun for me. It's building a community and that's what I like. I like having a community of people, of like-minded people sharing and talking about things that we like. Um, but every time like it would be, you know, I would work all the time and then I would come home and all I would do is sleep. Like I would eat dinner and then I would fall asleep and wake up and do it again. And during the weekends, instead of comic book hunting or doing anything, I would just sleep all the time. So, I'm working on that. I'm getting better. Um, but yeah, so I just wanted to pop in and, you know, say hi and share some stuff that I bought when I went to Buffalo with my parents one day. Um, Erica went to go visit her boyfriend's family, and I went to Buffalo with my parents. So, we ended up hitting up Adam's Dave and Adams. We ended up hitting up Dave and Adams. And um, we love Dave and Adams because they have 50 cent books. And it's kind of nice because now that my parents collect comic books as well, um, we divide the books up, like the sections, because it's like a whole big section of like 50 cent books. So we like, we pick a few and then we go through them. And if we see something that we think the other person will like, we pull it out and show them. So it was really fun. They had just put them out. Um, the guy said he just put them out the day before. So they, they're like, they were fresh. So the, the only 50 cents books that I picked, I picked up three. I picked three 50 cent books. And one is a Fantastic Four number 54, a 12 center. It's not the greatest shape of life, but it was 50 cents and it's a key issue. I don't remember why it was a key issue, um, but I do have the app Keynote and this one was on it. Um, but I also picked it up not just because it's a Fantastic Four, but it also has all of the Inhumans. And if you have seen a few of our past videos I was collecting, now I have the whole run of the, uh, the Inhumans, like their own, um, their own comic book yeah that's yeah um so i mean it's not the greatest copy ever of life but it's mine and it was only 50 cents so you know maybe eventually i will trade up you know but for 50 cents i'm not gonna pass on it you know so it's i mean like look at that you know, it just, it makes me happy. So I definitely need to bag and board that one, like, soon. And, um, I picked up Josie. Josie and the Pussycats, because I like collecting the Josie and the Pussycats, um, for 50 cents. Um, I know, it, I keep saying um all the time, I'm sorry, that's really annoying, it's because I haven't done one of these videos in so long. But, uh... It has Josie and um, Mel and the other one. 
I don't remember the other one's name. Val! Yeah, is it? It's Mel, Josie, and Val. I think. I'm pretty sure. So yeah, I picked this one. Now I have three of them. This one's number 19. So that's really exciting. My mom actually found this for me. And I found this one. It is a number one. It is a DC TV comic book. And this character is now on Legends of Tomorrow. But I'm not keeping this book. I'm giving it to my boss because she was the one that introduced me to Isis. I found her Isis, the Mighty Isis, um, issue one. Um, when I first started my job and she knew that I liked comic books and I liked Wonder Woman, she was like, oh my gosh, do you, have you, do you remember, you know, the Mighty Isis? She had her own TV show and her boots were amazing. Like, her boots were amazing. So, when I found this, I immediately thought of her. Because she, this was her favorite. This was her favorite. Oh my god, look at that. Oh. Uh, dang, now I'm going to have to start collecting them. I'm going to have to find a number one for myself, dang it. But... Ah, oh, yeah, because she was like, she was kind of like Wonder Woman, where she had a secret identity, but she was like the mighty Isis, I don't know. And now, I know on the Legends, I haven't really been, been keeping up with the Legends of Tomorrow, but I don't think that she actually has a code name. Um, because obviously, they can't use her name anymore. Um because of what's going on in the real world. But I think it's really cool. So yeah, I got her that. I'm super excited, I'm giving it to her tomorrow. So I already told her that I bought, I got it for her and she jumped out of her skin, she was so excited. So that's why I'm re actually recording this video because I wanted to share this with you before I gave it to her. Um, and the last thing that I picked up at David Adams was I did, okay, blah, blah, words, um, I do already own this copy, or a copy of this, but this one is way better condition, it's, it is in way better condition, and it was only seven dollars, because the price that they have is 14, and they always have the 50 off of, like, like, the back issues, so I ended up getting the giant Superman family with Batgirl and Supergirl. And if I was smarter, I would have gotten my other copy to show you that why this one's a better copy. But I think my other one had like a rolled spine and the colors weren't as bright. So when I saw this one and I'm like for $7 and it's, I mean, it still has some, like, wear and tear on the bottom and whatever, but the colors are way better than my other one. My other one was really faded, but at the time I didn't care because I didn't have it and Erica did, and I'd be damned if I, you know, if Erica has a Batgirl <laughs> that I don't have. So, I, uh, I picked, I repicked this one up. And, uh... Oh, it's with Cleopatra. Okay, get it, girl. Um, it says, uh, special guest star issue, Supergirl and Batgirl clash with Cleopatra, Queen of America. Oh, and the Justice League is there. Like, if you look, you have, you know, Flash, Green Lantern, Batman, Superman. I'm not sure who this is. Is it Aquaman? I don't know, but you have the Black Canary. But that's weird. I wonder who that is. I don't think it's Oliver Queen. I don't think it's the Green Arrow because he'd be in green. Huh. But I do know for certain that is <laughs> the Black Canary. hey -o. So then, um, you know, they bought some stuff. Man, did they buy some stuff. Um, we are trying to convince them, me and Erica are trying to convince them to have their own channel. Um, 
but my stepdad won't go for it even though he like he holds some stuff so I'll keep working on him because they are too legit to quit so we'll work on it my mom is down for it but my stepdad is like no I'm like but you tell us you show us it's like showing us but other people so then after Dave and Adams we what did we do we went to the mall um, we went to the mall we went to box lunch um, because Buffalo actually has the box lunch and I wanted my stepdad to get the box lunch exclusive spider-man um, but I didn't tell him that's why I wanted to go I'm like please let's just go and see but I wanted him to get them because he collects spider-man and he especially loves the Tom Holland Sp Spider-Man. We actually had a father-daughter date <laughs> and we went and saw it. Um, so, and then afterwards we pop hunted. That was a fun day. Um, he had the day off and so did I. <laughs> so we we're like, let's go watch this movie. Um, so yeah, so he got those and then we ended up, the way they have it set up, it's like there's like a geek, um, I call it Geek Isle, and it's like Hot Topic, um, GameStop, Box Lunch, Geek, what is it called? Geek, it's called Think Geek, way to go Jess. Um, we ended up going to Think Geek, and um, while I was strolling in, I see this legend that um, I literally gasped because I didn't think they were coming out, uh, that soon and I didn't think I'd be able to buy it. And of course, I'm talking about the Marvel Legends Spider-Woman. I do have the older version, but I wanted this version too because I also collected these comic books as well. And I really liked Jessica Drew. And I was really surprised they only had one of her. I thought the Gwenpool would be the one that would be more rare. But they only had one of these and one of the Spider-Man Noirs, which I was trying to convince my stepdad to get because it's all black. But he ended up not going for it. Um, but yeah, so I picked her up. I was super pumped. Um, I, and then I was like, should I get her? It's kind of pricier than, you know, like a Walmart or a Target because it is Think Geek. It's more of a speciality shop. And my mom was like, you know, if you don't get it and you don't find her again, you're going to be really upset. And she was right. So that's why I picked her up. So one more to add to my collection. Um, I believe my spider women now are officially complete again. Um, so that's super exciting. And, uh, yeah. So, it's been a while since, you know, we ch chatted. Um, and maybe that was an overshare in the beginning. But, I mean, those are the real reasons why we didn't really record. And, um, it's not like we didn't want to. We did. We just, you know, I had no energy. And let me tell you, that's not fun. Um being tired all the time and like not even really wanting to get up to work <laughs> it's not fun um but yeah i'm taking it day by day and every day is getting a little bit better um but yeah so let me know what you think about what i got um i know it wasn't a lot even though this video is what super 15 minutes at least um but, you know, I got a little bit of everything. I got Superman, Superman Family, Archie, and Marvel. So I hit, you know, I hit one of everything, I think. Um, but yeah, three comic books, two comic books. No, three comic books for me. And an action figure. Um, but yeah. So, uh, so let me know what you guys think. Um, please leave a comment. Please follow us on Instagram at Twinzine Official and on Facebook. Even though we haven't really posted anything on Facebook because we still don't know what we want to do. 
I guess what I want to do, because I don't know what we're going to do. I don't know if, you know, when she gets married, if she wants to do videos by herself and we each post one a week or if it's just going to be my channel. So we shall see. But I know that I will still do it. It's just whether or not it'll still be twinsing or if it's just going to be me. So let's be real, it's me anyway. Um, Because I'm, not that I'm the nerdier one, but I'm the one that has a shopping problem. But, uh, but yeah, and then a lot of that also, it's that we haven't been going out and we haven't been shopping and we, there, you know, there's no new product. But now, with, uh, with Han Solo coming out, you know, just not saying anything, but saying something. But it's not the toys. We definitely did not get any toys, but we may or may not have gone to a Denny's. So... Because Jess is a brat <laughs> and wanted Denny's. So, so yeah. What else? If you liked this video, this rambly video of a girl not really remembering how she normally used to do her videos. Because we used to be on point and now three months off, it feels like. Isn't really, uh, doesn't conduct well. So yeah, if you like this video, please hit subscribe. Uh, or like if you want to be part of this uh, this family of nerds and geeks that love toys and comic books and pop culture, please follow. And uh, I promise I'll get better at this. Because if I, if Erica's not gonna be here, I'm gonna have to learn how to ramble about things by myself. We'll see. I'll be better at it. I promise. Um, but yeah. So what I really want to do. And now that, you know, my room is clean, ish, <laughs> is shoot a collection video. I don't know if Eric is up for doing hers, but at least my shelves and my pop toys. Um, I don't know how I would want to shoot my art, because um, I have a lot of art as well, because I collect a lot of art as well. Um, and then I don't know about, you know, like comic book collections. Um, so we'll see. So yeah, so uh, I am planning to move forward with the channel. So, keep your eyes peeled. There's going to be a lot of stuff, new stuff ahead. Alright guys, this is where I sign off. It's the Age of the Geek, baby. We run the world. Bye nerds.